So go out on the internet, Google moles, you'll see it. It says nothing works on moles. Well, you know, I want to show you what we did with our new product, Sweeney's Poison Mole Worm, to prove that something finally does work on moles. And I want to show you this area because it's so fascinating. Last year, this place was infested with moles. We marked with little flags over 100 active mole runs in here. So how do you field test for moles? It's a little bit complicated. It takes over a month to do it. What we did here is we separated this area into three sections. We put Sweeney's Poison Mole Worm and baited the one area. We didn't bait the center area with anything. And we put Sweeney's Poison Mole Worm without any active ingredient in the control area. In the area that we put the active ingredient in the mole worm, we got a 75% drop in activity. In the area where we put the mole worm without the active ingredient, we actually had a little more activity than we had to begin with. And in the center section, it pretty much stayed the same. So that was the proof we needed to say that we were really having an impact on the population. Now here's the best part. And we started to look in the springtime and there wasn't one mole run in this area. And we can walk up and down here and there isn't one mole run in this area, not one. And we think it was the Sweeney's poison mole worm that had that impact. So yeah, now we can't test this area. We can't use this area for, for field testing for mole products anymore, unfortunately, because there's no moles. But the product is registered across the United States and uh, you can trust me when you use this product that this product works.